This is a new uh, device that's been um, de devised for patients with intractable epilepsy. What that means is patients whose seizures are not under control with medications and many of them who in whom seizure surgery is not available. The device looks about uh, looks like the size of a credit card actually and uh, it is implanted or installed into the skull. This implanted device is sitting within the skull cavity so what, what happens is in the surgery a piece of the skull is removed and in place of that skull it, the device will sit and so it's actually flush with the skull it's not doesn't protrude out or anything like that so cosmetically it's it doesn't cause any uh, now, disfigurement. Um, so there is a surgery that's involved in placing the electrodes and then it, once the electrodes are placed it's hooked up to the device and the device then sits in the skull. There are electrodes that are placed in the area of the brain where the seizures are originating. What the device does is it records continuously the EEG or the brain waves of the patient. And so this device is smart in the sense that it not only records the activity but it can be programmed to try and detect when a seizure occurs. And it not only detects a seizure, it then can deliver electrical current to those same contacts that are in the area where the seizures are beginning. And the electrical current, the reasoning, reasoning for delivering electrical current is we believe that stimulation through this way can sometimes shut off or break up the seizure before it develops into something more severe. So in a sense, it is what's called um, in the medical literature a closed loop device. It doesn't stimulate all the time. It stimulates only when it detects a seizure. It is a, the human machine interface in a sense because um, you are interfacing with brain activity, with the device that we can then program remotely or you know, not having to explore surgically the device. We can use a uh, programming tool that can sense what the device parameters are and change them as we need, as we see fit. This is the very beginning, I think, of a therapy that's delivered locally, where we believe the epilepsy is arising and trying not to involve other areas of the brain that are functioning normally.